Uh, today we are going to we are going to be working with our reading comprehension skills. So in order to do it, we are going to keep working with our reading plan. Then we are going to have a reading comprehension guide, and also we are going to have our grammar explanation. Okay. So let's check the forum. Let's read the instructions for today's class, and then let's begin. Okay. Today, David is going to help me reading the, the instructions. So give me one second while I open it, and then you just have to read. This is it, baby. Can you please help me reading the instructions up to this point? Teacher. One second. Tell me when is. I don't know how to say I haven't checked it yet. I haven't finished with the provision because I am checking like things uh, from previous weeks. So I guess that I am going to check it this week. I let you know as soon as I have it. Okay. So David, go ahead, baby. Attack. Can you please speak louder? Okay. Yes. Dear students, today we are going to reinforce our reading comprehension skills. In order to do it, we'll be working with our reading plan and we are going to solve a guide. As soon as you're finished, please download the evidence of your working and as a posting forum in this forum. Also, we'll have our grammar explanation where we'll be learning about rhetoric questions. Please be ready to participate on. Don't forget to ask if you are any questions. Okay, so as I was telling you, the first hour is going to be entirely dedicated to my own, yeah, to the reading comprehension plan. On this second hour, we are going to have like a reading comprehension activity, it's a guide. As you know, you have always a guide in the first comment. So that's what we are going to be doing on the second hour. And then in the last hour, we are going to have the grammar explanation. Questions about the activities that we are going to be doing today, guys? No questions? So, can you please access to my own platform? Don't forget that you have to go to myown.com. I am going to show you your usernames. This is the last time that I show you the usernames, just in case that you don't have it. Okay? So please go to myown.com and then access to it. This page, myown.com. And these are the usernames. Let me know as soon as you are there, please. Teacher. Tell me. Wait, wait. We are accessing to my own. Señora, señora, es que Martín habló. Okay, we are ha we are getting into my own. So please go to my own platform, myown.com, and access because we are going to continue with our reading plan. Okay, did you have it? No, probably. No, Jet? Okay, go. Espérame que no tenía mi computador prendido. Okay. Ya lo estoy prendiendo y ya te ya lo hago. Okay, babies. Tell me. We are going to begin with the urban legends, uh, because those short stories are the introduction of the big book. So we are going to read one urban legend and then we are going to go to 
The Ghost of Jake Stockley. Pero en algo que se llama myon.com. Sí. Yes, that's the platform. Ah, ok. Entonces lo digo. Pongo el nombre del colegio. You just have to type Los Alpes and that is going to show you the name of the school. So, Sarai, how is everything going? Yes, and that is going to show you the, the name. Sarai, Sarai, are you able to access? Yes, teacher. Today? Okay, great. Uh, tell me, baby. Tell me. I am listening. What, baby? ¿Cómo se llama la plataforma? My own. Ah, ok, ya sí, sí. Ya la habíamos buscado algún día. Yes. ¿Qué es? No, por favor, es que tengo dos páginas diferentes. El username. Ok, the username. ¿Está dentro, por cierto? O sea, entra lo de proyectos y ahí me aparece que es como un juego. No me dice el nombre, pero me aparece como los arbustos que quemado. Ese es el que vamos a leer, ¿cierto? We are going to read, yeah, we are going to begin with the, with the Creepy Urban Legends and then the Ghost of Jake Stogley. That's the one. Ok, una pregunta. Esto, yo, yo entro y me sale como que, como que géneros, que categorías me gustaría. Yes, do you remember that the previous class, princess, do you remember that the previous class, yeah, uh, you didn't do it? because you yeah. didn't access to the platform, so you have to do it today. While we are working on this reading comprehension, I mean, you are going to be listening, but you have to do like your interest in the Lexile test, yeah? So just begin, otherwise you are not going to be able to, to use the platform. You just, have, you just have to do it. Okay. Sí, Tell me. Okay, check again. I have the password and everything here on my screen, so you can check it again. No, dice que está mal. Okay, I am going to tell you the username and the password. Ready? So, Juan.garcia.3. Profe? The password. 348800. No, 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 yeah, it's charging. Give me one second. Okay. Juan yeah. that Garcia that three. So password baby. Yeah. 34 uh -huh. 81 00. Yeah. So sign in. Dale eh, ingresar, te dijo eso? Yeah. So please reload the page. Sí, me just just reload it. Recarga la página, amor. Sí, sí. Teacher, una pregunta: ¿dónde tenemos que entrar? You just have to access to my own and then you have to go to projects. Es que. Bueno, tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Es que en mi. En cuando yo entro, me sale ese de. Yes, ¿El de what, baby? El de BSD. Porque no, estabas no, en ese no, curso, no, cielo. No, okay. Pero entonces, ay, caray. Déjame, yo le pido a la, a la señora que nos cambie, que te mueva para décimo A, ¿listo? Dale. Si no, ya revisamos. So, how, Juan, is, how is everything okay, going? Listo. Ok. Otra vez. Pero borra todos los datos. Está, no le des reenviar datos. Ingresa otra vez. Dale otra vez mayo.com. Que no te salga nombre de colegio ni nada. Ok. 
Sí, que te mande otra vez a iniciar sesión y todo, que vuelvas a hacer todo el proceso completico. Es que no me deja. No me deja refrescar totalmente la pantalla. Ok, ¿can you open a new tab? Bueno, voy a cerrar. Cierra no todo. O sea, cierra eso, vuelves y abres una nueva pestaña y mandas sí, mayon.com. And let me know if it works. So, is anybody else having troubles with the platform, guys? Okay. Okay, great. So, we are going to begin with creepy urban legends. Yes, you just have to wait. We are waiting for Juanes in order to see if he is able to access, and then we are going to begin. Okay. Thank you, Juan Esteban. Don't you remember the video that we watched yesterday? Okay. So, did you do it, Juanes? Okay, yeah. So, guys, uh, while Juanes is like doing everything with her mom, with his mom, sorry. So, we are going to go to the reading plan. I am going to show you the my screen and then we are going to keep reading, okay? So, let's do it. Right now, tell me. Pregunta, es que estoy respondiendo todo el cuestionario, bueno, todo lo que me sale ahí. Si lo hago, lo hago otro día. Lo hago ya. Right now. Pero rápido. You just have to do it right now. Who are you fighting with, David? Okay. Okay. So go ahead, guys. Um, Everybody must be here in this part of... Creepy urban legends. Do you remember that we read the story of this of this girl about the hair and everything? Yeah. So it was a really weird story, but we were saying that it could be true. We are going to continue. We are going to continue right now. No te Okay, baby. So please work. Uh, ¿Qué si tienes que subrayar qué? Ama? You can read, I mean, for this class, for this class, you are going to do it with me. I mean, like checking my screen. And let's try later, maybe if you can do it at noon. Can you please repeat, speak louder? Yes, we are going to be working every single week on this. So okay. don't worry, we just have maybe something related to the connection or something like that. So don't worry, for today, just read with me. Okay, okay guys, okay. so... Okay, so we are going to continue with this story. Go ahead, baby, read. Don't turn on the lights. Two college roommates didn't have much in common one. Uh, in common. One liked to hang out with her friends. The other liked to study. One night, the more outgoing girl asked her roommate, 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 uh, to go bowling. Uh, but the roommate, profe, no, no puedo leer. Espera, es que esto está muy trabado. Que lea otro, profe. Es que como que la página le dan arrancones. Okay. Uh, can you see it on my screen? No, neither. No, tampoco lo puedes ver en mi pantalla. Sí, sí, en tu pantalla sí puedo. Go ahead. Espérate que... Espérate, ya les... ¿Dónde iba? Run me to go bowling. One night, the more of... Ask her roommate to go bowling. But the roommate declined. She had to prepare for a science test. The first girl also needs to study. But she planned on doing it when she go back. Besides bowling, 
with friends might help her relax. ¿Sigue leyendo? Yes, please. It was late when the girl returned from bowling. The lights in the dorm room in the dorm room were out. The girl could see the dark shape of her roommate asleep in the bed. She decided not to turn out the lights. Uh, instead, she would wake up early to study. She might even ask her roommate for help. Okay, Samu, what is happening here? What is your story? Okay, what are the main characters and everything? Okay, please. English, English. Profe, la verdad, ¿quieres que te diga? No, es que cuando uno lee, uno solo piensa en leer bien. No, no, no pone atención. Entonces, so we have to... Okay, try to do it in English. We have two girls here. And what happened with those girls? Okay, yeah. Our two roommates and uh, one of their roommates uh, uh, is prepared for a test. Uh -huh. And another girl. I think is go to play bowling. Yeah, she's going to a party. Maybe. <laughs> and you're not sure. So you have these two these two roomies, two friends, and one of them said that she is not going to the party because she had to study and the other one just left her and she went to the party. When she arrived, the partner was sleeping, so she decided not to wake her up. No decidió no despertarla y mejor madrugar a estudiar. That's the first part of the story, okay? Let's continue then. Let's go. Who wants to read? No one? No, it's beautiful. Me? Who wants to read, guys? Me? Go ahead. Okay. Um, but the girl had a hard time sleeping that night. She kept hearing fine noise noises, but she couldn't make out what they were. A rolling sound and then a pouring sound kept her awake. The noises from the bowling alive must be stuck in my head. She thought. Morning arrived and some sunlight flooded the room. The girl woke up, rubbed her eyes and started to focus on her roommate's side of the room. She really hoped her friend would help her, her study. But the Roman couldn't happen her study, not today, and not ever. The room the roommate was dead writing in blood on the ceiling where the words are in your blood you didn't turn on the light. Fear fact. Ah, fear fact. Um version of the story were first collected in the nineteen sixties. In one version the robot was to who was tossed in, in for the night survives. She hears binding and stretching sounds in the hallway. Terrified, the girl looks at the door. The next morning, she discovers her grandma's bloody, blo bloody body in the hallway. In the hallway. So, Sophie, do you think that this is a real story? I don't know very well. What do you think? What can happen, but... I don't know if this uh, um, story was real. Why not? Why could you think that this is not real? Um, I don't yeah. know. What, Martin? I think that actually that a situation could actually happen. You just go out and then you come back and you don't turn on the light. You think your friend is sleeping, but no, because you don't know if you turn the light. And I think that a situation that could happen. Not like the one before with the box, but this one could happen. Okay, this one could happen. Sophie, did you want to complete your idea? No, I guess that. That was real, what Martin says. And like I tell you, this is this can be uh, this can, can be passed in the in the real life. The, the I don't know how to say homicides. The murders. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Homicide. That's what they say in that story, but related to this story I don't know if it's completely real. Okay, let's listen one more person. What do you think of this story, uh, David? I don't 
thinks that I was at the, a set of conscience, but that, that if I don't believe that it's, that was real, that I, the, all, all of that are from conscience, we terminal and not to terminal. Okay, so in my case, I think that this can be real. I mean, have you ever seen this channel of ID, Discovery Investigation? Yeah? Yeah. So this sounds like a story of that channel. This can happen. And maybe the killer didn't do it, be didn't kill the other one just because he didn't want it. Maybe it was like a passional crime or something. So it can be like a lot of facts that can influence uh, for this to happen. So in my case, I, I think that this urban legend is real. Okay, guys. So now that we have checked the story, today's story, we are going to go to our main book, that is this one. The Ghost of Jake Stokely. So did you have it? Can you please open it? Yeah? Yes. Okay. So let's begin with this book. Juan, can you see my screen? Can you read? Juan, are you there, baby? Okay. You are dying, but you are there. Can, can you please help me reading this first page? Okay. Uh, chapter one, uh, no footprints. Footprints. The dark, uh, the dark figure of a man moved on the lonely beach. Uh, the only sound was a splash for out on the delayed as an evil uh, so, this is not, uh, sorry, down. Mm -hmm. And it's called uh, a uh, house. Uh -huh. The dark figure semi semi, uh, not the here. He moved slow uh, from one end of the beach to the other, the stupid uh, third around and will get across the beach again. The beach was a uh, sharp like a triangle. Uh, it's sharpest uh, end points mm -hmm. toward the mouth of Eagle Lake. So early explorer had named it a uh, Eagle Point. Okay, thank you baby. So what happened here? This book is beginning like with what? He's telling you something about what, Juanes? About about a dark figure, yeah. Uh -huh. What yeah. happened with this dark figure, baby? Uh, um, it was a man. Okay. 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 Um. Es, es algo que tiene que ver con los problemas, que no se puede explicar, es como... Eh, espera. Splash. Tiene que ver como con el mar, pero no me entendí. Ok, you are next to a lake, actually, not the sea, but a lake. Ah, Lado de un lago. Anda. El man como que salta a veces, ¿no? No, no sé. No, he is not saving any fishes, actually. They are just telling you that there was like a dark figure of a man. That was in that part, in that part, in a specific part, and that figure like seems not to hear. He just he was moving from one side to another. Se estaba moviendo ahí alrededor, and they are saying that he was walking in a place that is called Eagle Lake, okay, El Lago Eagle. But what happened with this eagle? This eagle had a specific characteristic. And it was the shape. How was the shape? Who can tell me? It's the eagle, not it's eagle. It's the eagle. Okay. No, it's not the shape of an eagle. What is the shape? You have it here. Looks like a what? 
triangles. Yeah, triangles. So, this uh, eagle lake had that shape, and for that reason, some explorers name it Eagle Point. Okay? For them, uh, this seems like a specific arrow who was showing you a specific point. That's the first page. Let's continue. Laura, can you please continue, baby? Eagle Point was too far away from routes and highways to ever be a good location for a home. It was a great place for getting away from no noisy and crude and cell phones. It was the perfect spot to set up a campsite, a feast for bad birds and blue deer. The figure on the beach did not seem interesting in feature in fishing or camping. He only seemed interested in, move, in moving and not staying still. No one watching this scene would have found it very strange. Not because the man never stopped walking, because, uh, but because his feet left not footprint in the soft sand. And as he stepped on cliff and falling trees, he did never make a single sound. It was almost as if he wasn't there at all. Okay, baby, what happened here? What can you tell me? Uh, they talk about um, the beach and like that, and uh, how is interesting the man because he didn't stop and he he. Feet left not in like um, I don't know how to say it. Footprints. Footprints in the sand. Uh huh. So they are talking about Eagle Point. They are saying that this specific place, it was really far from roads, from store, from everything. So it was like a bad place to live, but a good place to spend some holidays. Just if you want to keep calm, to relax, to fish. Yeah, to catch some fishes, you can go there. But in this place, you have the dark figure of a man who was walking all around and that has no footprints. What is the meaning of footprints, guys? What is that? Who can tell me what is footprints? Footprints. Wages. 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 Very good. Thank what you. about pebbles? What is pebbles? I know, I know. Tell me. Yes, I don't even What is pebbles? Yeah, those are stones that looks like a circle, a rounded stones. Okay. Okay, what is the meaning of twigs? Don't forget that you have your dictionaries there. Can you repeat, please, baby? Okay, I guess that we lost him. Who knows what is Twix? So, have you ever seen these trees? Uh, those fallen trees, ¿han visto árboles caídos? Que se les ve el tronco y el tronco parece que tuviera pelitos. De lo seco yes. que está. That's a twig. Eso es un twig. That kind of wood. Okay, let's check if we have any other um, word that we don't know. Okay, what is the meaning of bike? Suena bicicleta, pero con P. Pike. What is that? You have your dictionaries there. You just click on the word and check on the dictionaries. Un sendero largo. So so. What is pike? So pike can be two things. Pike can be two things. The place where you have a large amount of fishes or the tool that you use to catch the fishes. Okay? 
What about perch? What is perch? Check in your dictionaries. <laughs> no. Perch, open it in your dictionaries. Profe. Tell me. Sé que tiene que ver con pájaros. ¿Será un lugar donde descansan pájaros? Kinda. So, perch is a place where you can find some birds, but also is a place where you can relax yourself. Okay? So, babies, from now on, we have this guy there that is really weird with no footprints, and you know that he is at Eagle Point. Okay? Let's continue then. Chapter number two, Daniel Attack. Tell me reading, please. Page number nine. Chapter 2 Aim of the Great But Was he drove along the distant forest around Jared Holmes, Queen and Torrent of this pick us wind shaped weapons The dust from his fire gate I had I had uh, of him was burning the rod Everyone did he step back uh, for right as a snake. That's called make up this link where it was going. Finally, you can make this training way. Got it with a name to it. Deep. It was done inside the middle. Everyone stopped it in the linear. Okay, baby, so in this chapter two, they are not talking about the mystery dark guy. No, stop one second. What is this telling you about? This is like a new story. What's happening here? What did you have? Nani, tell me. What is happening here? Who can tell me? I don't know where he is. No. No? Okay, who can tell me who knows? You are just reading, be careful with that. Because in test, uh, when you are taking like exams or something like that, you just have to read. Tell me, Danny. Can you please repeat? I can listen to you in a good way. Um, yeah, okay. Teacher. Tell me. Tell me, Dani. Eh, la pregunta es para Joya o la puede responder otra persona. Uh, right now, Daniel is answering, but then you can give me your answer too. Ah, okay. But right now, I want to listen Daniel because he was the one who read. So, baby, what's happening here? Try to do it, even in Spanish, you can do it. Lo que pasa es que la historia es de Jared Holmes, quien está como por la carretera, como recorriéndola, y como que en el jeep de su padre. Okay. Okay, uh, Martin, do you want to say something else? Okay, so what's happening here? Easy, easily, uh, you just have a father and his son and they are on a road. They are uh, on a trip, they are traveling, they are going to somewhere. 
uh, they are telling you that the the way, like the road, is really hard because it has like the shape of a snake. So it's really hard to to go over the road, and also because of the dust, you know. So what is the meaning of blurring, guys? If you say ahead of him was blurring the road, the dust was blurring the road. What is the meaning of blurring? No. Have you ever, uh, have you ever tried to see something that is really, really far away? Yes. So it's really hard. So in the case of blurring, blur is when you can't see something because it's really hard to do it. Because of dust, because of dust, uh, because of distance, because of something. For some reason, it's hard to see it. Yeah, it's unclear. That's blurring. So you have that. You have these two guys who are traveling, and suddenly the father stopped, and they were in the middle of the woods. So can you remind me what is the meaning of woods? In el bosque. Bueno. Yeah. Como... That's it. Okay. So they were there. Let's continue then. Martin Grajales, can you please continue, baby? Page 10. Yes. Um, they got to the king, said Jared. This is it, he asked his father. Mr. Holmes smiled as he stepped out of the jeep. You've been to Waterville before, he said. It seemed a lot bigger, said Jared. That's because you were a lot smaller, said Mr. Holmes. Jared looked around. All he saw were a few wooden buildings, a tiny gas station with a single gas pump, and a grocery store with a huge stuffed fish over the door. Only 50 feet away, sparkling through the trees, lay the southern end of, a, of Eagle Way. Come on, guys. We don't have a lot of time, Mr. Holmes said as three boys climbed out of his jeep. Let's get these candles down and get you on your way. That's right, guys, Jared said. Gather up all the gear. Jared's younger brother, Caleb, rolled his eyes. Sure thing, boss, Caleb said. Is he going to be bossy the whole trip? Asked Louis, the taller one of Caleb's friends. Probably, said Caleb, but he does know a lot about fishing. Jared and Caleb spent a lot of time outdoors. Almost every weekend, they went fishing, hunting, camping, or canoeing with their father. This summer, Mr. Holmes had a work project that will keep him busy for the next months. So Jared decided he would take his brother and his friends by himself. Jared had decided on a spot that he had been busy since he'd been in Red School, Eagle Point. So, Martin, what's happening here? How many characters do you have now? Um, so, you're still having Jared and you're still having, like, Mr. Holmes. How many new characters do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, Jared, Caleb, and Luis. Uh, okay, you have Caleb and you have Luis. And two others, because they are telling you that, or maybe one more, sorry. Because they are telling you that three, the three guys home. went into the car. Okay, what are they planning to do, baby? What can you tell me about it? What is the plan? They are going to, like... Okay, and what are they going to do? Camp there, and canoeing, and do up those... Okay, so they are planning to have like a trip where they are going to fish, where they are going to camp, where they are going to spend some time together. Where is the point where this plan is going to be happening? In which part? Uh, in Eagle Point. Eagle Point. So now you have the story of some people that is going to the place where we have the guy without footprints, okay? So they are basically doing that. There is Jared, there is Caleb, there are their friends, and they are visiting Eagle Point because they wanted to do it, because they want to have a trip. Let's continue. 
Side eye princess, can you please continue with the reading or are you still doing the test? Sí, profe, todavía no he terminado el test. Okay, don't worry. So, let's continue with Sofia. Can you please read? Okay, teacher. Uh, the only way to reach Eagle Point was by canoe. The old caretaker, Mr. Stokely, lived in a large cabin set back from the water. George's favorite camping spot was on the Point Hill, just above the Beverly Beach. He had got me good memories of fishing there. The lake was filled with north northern pike and huge welling. Janet couldn't wait to get here, there. Soon the canals were all out. Mr. Holmes laying a hand against the deep. You should have great fishing out by the points this time of year, he said. Then he glanced at his watch. Time for me to head back home. Do you have everything you need? Your note will go to the outfitters store for the last few sofas, he said. I want to be on the water by noon, so we can reach Eagle Point but sundown. Good plan, said his father. Jerry had spent weeks preparing for the trip. He had it all planned out. Well, take care of your little brother, Mr. Holmes said. I'll see you in a week. As his father drove away, George turned of the youngest guys. Let's head to the store to the store and get our last supplies, he said. I think we still need a couple of things for the first aid kit too. The four boys walked into the outfitter store. It was a small wood building with only two rooms, the store's area and a small office. The store was lined with shelves filled with everything and computer or fisherman might need. Jerry quickly found a can opener, a box of bandage, and some soap. Then he brought the items to the counter. Okay, baby, what happened here? What can you tell me? Okay, I really, I don't, okay, wait, give me one minute. <laughs> so you have these guys who wanted to go to Eagle Point. Yes, to, they want to to go to fishing. Uh-huh. Fish, and one of them has like an accident, and for that they need to go to the, need to go to the uh, botiquin, I don't know how to say mm, it. Nope, and no they, accidents. You don't have accidents here. Okay, let's go part by part. Now, here you have like a new name. What is the name of the new character? Mr. What? Mr. Holmes. No, Mr. Holmes is the, is the father. But you have a new name on this page. Who is that one? Mr. What, Sophie? Mr. Stokely. Mr. Stokely. So, what is the name of the book, Sophie? The name of the book? The Ghost of uh, J. Stokely. So, maybe this is related to it. Okay? So, there you have Mr. Stokely. They are saying that he is like the caretaker, the boy who takes care of that place. And they wanted to go there. But they are missing something. Yeah, they need some supplies. They need extra things in order to go to the trip. So, Sophie, did Mr. Holmes uh, travel with them? Uh, travel with what? With Mr. Stockley? No. Did Mr. Holmes travel with his son and the friends, the, the other kids? Uh, no. Why not? Um, um, I no wait a minute. I know that uh, Mr. Holmes tell to her sons that uh, take care one of it, one of it, of each others. And what, the reason that Mr. Holmes don't know is I guess that is when he say that Lena hang against um, the jeep that. I really, really, I don't know. You're not sure. So, no, he, he's not traveling with them because he can't. He is really busy. He has, like, a project. 
So he's just leaving. What happened then? How many times are they planning to be there at Eagle Point? How many times? To sundown. When did sundown? <laughs> okay, they want to arrive there by sundown, but how many times are they planning to be there? ¿Cuánto tiempo quieren estar allá? En Eagle Point. Who knows? One week. One week. They wanted to be there for one week, so they needed some things, and they went into a store. Yeah, Jared is like the leader, because he's the oldest one. So he just he just bought uh, some things for the first set kit, like el kit de primeros auxilios, just in case they need it. And also he bought some bandages, some soup, because they're going to be there one week, so they have to take a shower. And other things, okay? They are buying those things. Let's continue then. Okay, Juana, baby, are you there? Yes. Can you please help me with page 15? Okay, uh, what do you... What do we need to for? Ask Caleb. Uh huh. Friend Harry. I don't. This was our vacation. Uh, Caleb, Roger, his eyes. Uh, where are you, boys? He did. He did. The story clear. Clear. Ask it. Smiling. Smiling. Uh, hi. Smiling. Smiling. Yes. Hi. Uh, uh, Billet. His stuff. Onto the counter. We were going up to. Early point. Eagle Point. He said. Point. He said. Uh, yeah, yeah. We will be up there for a week. Adel Kaylee, a day clear, a student, suddenly, a turned pale, his smile disapp disappeared, he looked at her and proved, I don't think that a good idea, the clip said, unless you plan to fish for for a ghost. What happened here, baby? What can you tell me? What did you understand? The 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 Harry, okay. Um, um, um. They are buying some supplies for the trip and there is a boy who is like the owner of the store, yeah? What happened with that boy? They are buying some supplies and in that, uh, in that store there is a boy that is the clerk, like the owner of the store, something like that. What happened with that boy? Why not? I am no Who knows what happened with the boy, with the clerk? Who knows? Who can tell me? No, see. Not sure? Yeah. Okay, let's ask to your friends. Guys, what do you think? What happened with the boy of the store? ¿Quién sabe? ¿Quién me cuenta qué pasó con el señor de la tienda? No one? ¿Nadie sabe qué pasó con él? Desapareció. Nope. No. No, no. He like, get... Really he was, maybe. Can you please repeat, darling? He, 
Yes, he was like in shock. He looked scared. That's it. He looked like really scared because the guys told him that they were going to visit Eagle Point. So he just said like, okay guys, that's a really, really bad idea. Don't do it unless you plan to fish for a ghost. So he just said that that was a haunted place. Okay, we have another chapter here, another name that is Harry. So who, what are, what are the names of our, our characters? Do you have Jared? What else? Who are the ones that are traveling to Eagle Point? Jared? What is the name of the brother? Caleb. Caleb. And what about the two friends? What are the names of the friends? Luis. Luis and one more. Harry. Harry. So those are the characters or the people who is le who are going to travel to Eagle Point. Okay, guys. So we are going to stop right now. This is like uh, the reading comprehension of the reading plan of today class. And let's stop by now with this. I am going to give you guys, as you know, we have to do like active pauses by recommendation. So I am going to give you the three minutes to go to the restroom, to eat something if you want, at a nine and 30 minutes. I need you here again, okay, to continue with the class. Questions? No? no. So guys, three minutes. Three minutes to stand up, to go to the restroom and to come back. Go ahead. Tell me, darling. Yeah, I will. Baby, you are in active pause. You have like now just one more minute to go to the restroom and to come back. Tenían tres minutos. Se los dio a las y veintisiete. Les queda como minuto y medio para ir al baño y regresar. Descansar un poquito. Ajá. Entonces, go.
Okay, my dears, time's up. We are going to continue with the class. So, are you there, all of you? Just don't say anything, but open your microphones in order to let me know that you are there, please. Just open it. Hello. So, don't say anything. So, I have some of you. Sophia, are you there? No, okay, Sarai. Sarai. Yes, okay, Samuel is there. Martin Segura. Dinero, okay, you are. I am just checking that you are here. Martin Grajales, are you there? Hello. Okay, Hello, Laura. Hi. Juana. Okay, Juanes. Hola, Great, Iván. Awesome, Daniel. Aquí, profe. And David. David, baby, are you there? Okay. So, my dears, we are going to continue with the second part of the class. Give me one second.